Hi, welcome to AvidCoast.com. My name is Michael. I'll be your trainer for today's uh, video. We're going to talk about how to install WordPress blogs onto your WordPress blog. One of our previous videos actually showed you how to install WordPress. If you haven't uh, already installed that and need some help uh, on how to install it, you're more than welcome to check out that video here under our profile under YouTube. It's AvidCoast is the profile name. So you're more than welcome to, uh, once again, check out that video on how to install WordPress. This is going to assume that you just completed an installation process of the WordPress blog. Now you need to learn how to uh, maybe do some plugins, make your site a little bit more interactive. We'll have another video posted shortly on how to change the theme and the look and the design of your website site here shortly but uh, nevertheless let's get ready to talk about WordPress blog the first step is that we're going to need to go ahead and log in we're gonna go ahead and click on the link on the right hand side that says right under meta uh, that allows us to log in now this allowed us to immediately log in that's because we just logged in a few minutes ago nevertheless that would normally take you to an admin page where you'll be able to type in your username and password to get to this home page uh, from here we really want to just basically uh, take a look at the control panel real quick on the left hand side we're gonna see a section where it says plugins and that's gonna be highlighted for you in red here in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and wait for that. Right there you see it's highlighted in red. That's the link that we're going to want to click on. And the reason why we're going to click on this is because I'm also going to show you how to find some different plugins to help make your site a little bit more interactive and that'll be a little bit more useful for you. Uh, you're going to see down at the bottom where it says get more plugins now. More importantly there's a little link over here on the right hand side that says uh, find WordPress uh, plugins. We're going to go ahead and open that up in a new window here. That way we can easily go back to our plugin. This is the WordPress plugin directory. They have uh, well over 3,000 different plugins, almost 4,000 actually. Um, in the top there, there's a search engine box. So maybe you're looking for a contact form. Maybe you're going to be looking for something to do with search engines, make your uh, website a little bit more search engine friendly, make allow you a little bit more control, maybe site maps, whatever the case it is that you're looking for. Go ahead and type that in the search engine or in, in that little search box there at the top. We're going to type in the keyword search engine to see what pulls up for us. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and type that in there now. All right, we're going to go ahead and conduct that search. Uh, there's a couple things at the top. Right there it says Google XML uh, Site Maps. I uh, definitely recommend that program in the future for you. We're just going to go ahead and download the all-in-one SEO pack, uh, which is located the third one down here. We're going to go ahead and click on that here. And it pulls up a new window. Now you have a couple different options. You can review the description, uh, view the screenshots, and some different uh, stats associated with that. We're going to go to the top right-hand corner here and actually click on where it says Download. And we're going to allow this program to download. It's going to download in a zip file for you as well. I usually save it to my document. Save it to whatever directory that you use most often. We're going to go ahead and click Save. It's going to ask us if we uh, want to save it again here. Actually, we're going to go ahead and cancel that. I wanted to show you uh, once again where you can go. All right, we're going to click Download again. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and click Save. It's going to give us where we want to save it to. Now, that's just asking me there if I wanted to resave uh, and overwrite a file. All right, we're downloaded already. It was pretty quick to download. Pretty simple file, uh, not, a, you know, not a huge file or anything where you have to wait a long time for. We're going to go back to the WordPress bl uh, blog. We're going to click on Plugins where it says Add New on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and search for our plugin that we just downloaded. Uh, again, mine's in my documents here. And I'm scrolling all the way down for some reason. It starts with an A, so all in one search. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, select that file that we just downloaded. And on the right-hand side, we're going to click the button that says Install Now. And as you see, it's pretty quick, installed already. And we're going to go ahead and click the link that says Activate Plugin. And there we are. We are all activated. Now what we're going to do is scroll down on the left-hand side. We're going to go down to where it says Settings. We're going to open that up. And this will allow you to configure the default settings for this particular plugin. So definitely go ahead and uh, you know look at those uh, different settings that you could do. You could change the home page title and the description, uh, the different keywords that might be associated with the home page. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I normally leave most of these settings for this particular plugin alone. Uh, but let me give you an example of what you could do with this plugin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and act like we're going to write a new post here. And let's just say that we're going to talk about uh, web hosting being at $5.95 a month here at avichost.com, which is a great price. Um, we're going to go ahead and type in our title, web hosting for just $5.95 a month. All right, down here, then we're going to go ahead and write our article goes here. And we're going to scroll down. Now we're going to click on the, the highlight here where it says all-in-one SEO. This allows us to change the title of this particular article. So under the meta tags, it'll allow us to change the title. Uh, it's going to allow us to put in the description. 
and also allow us to add our keywords that are uh, primarily with this particular post. Uh, definitely recommend doing this, guys, because this will really help optimize your website for the search engines, will help really uh, draw in targeted audience based on the particular keywords that you're going to be using. So as you can see, I typed in uh, the title and the description. Also type in some different keywords here, such as web hosting, premier web hosting, etc. cetera. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go all the way up to the top, and we're going to hit Publish. And that's it. Uh, this allowed me to put in and identify my particular keywords that I wanted to go with this particular page. It allowed me to change the title, the meta tag, just make it a little bit more search engine friendly for the search engines out there. Uh, now, one thing I did want to let you know about, we do offer web hosting here at avicoast.com starting at just $5.95 per month. Everything that you've seen that you were able to do here on the screen or on this video, uh, you're certainly able to do with your hosting account, whether you go with our basic hosting plan for just $5.95 a month or whether you go with our more advanced plan at $9.95 a month, you'll have the same features, functions, and benefits benefits that you come to expect with this particular plan. Other than that, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email our support team at support at avicoast.com. More than happy to assist you in any way you can, whether you're hosting with us currently or not. We're more than uh, more than willing to help you out and answer any questions that you might have. In addition, you're more than welcome to visit our website if you're interested in getting some uh, quality web hosting here at http colon forward slash forward slash www.avic, that's A-V-E-K, host, H-O-S-T, dot com. Again, that web address is www avichost.com. Thanks again for visiting our video today and uh, if you're looking to maybe change the customization and the look of your blog, check out one of our uh, videos that will be coming up here pretty soon where we're going to talk about how to change the theme of your WordPress blog uh, with, with pretty quick ease and, and all that good stuff. Uh, other than that, I appreciate your time and again, visit www.avichost.com.